Hey Rory, this is another tutorial. What are we going to do this tutorial on? We're going to do this on, it's a tutorial for Emma Stone. Emma Stone. And, but is it really a tutorial for Emma Stone? Yes. Or is it for... So we're just going to talk about Emma Stone for a I bit. think it's a tutorial on images. Images. Okay, well, luckily for us... Emma images Stone. and image galleries and how we treat images on our site. Emma Stone is very photogenic, so that'll, okay. be, that'll, that'll help. Uh, maybe a, I'm trying to find a, one of their puppy, too. Um, here's Emma Stone. Look at her. Look at that. Look she's, at that she's beautiful. cute girl. Yeah. She's really... She's really Want to bring her home to your mom? Uh, she's very approachable. I love her eyes. Good eyes. She does have the she right She sounds very stuff smart. That's how, oh, look at this. Bobby. Oh, look at Bobby. Oh, did you want to look at those uh, arrows there? I want to show those to people. I just want to look at the Bobby. The Bobby's cute. Um, is so that yeah, a real dog, actually? That is <laughs> a real dog. He looks like one of those stuffed animals. Not a fake dog, unfortunately. He's a real dog. He's really in this movie. Easy A is really good if you haven't seen it. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's arrows that pop up. What do these arrows do? So you can click on them. And go to the next image. You just didn't. You clicked on I that, clicked and on that, that gives you the, the bigger image. But this is not a very big image. We can go to another one. Click on the next one. See if it's bigger. So if you ever want to go to the next image, you do that. You do and that. If you want to click on it, you can get. This is how you get the uh, the source file, the original image that was uploaded. So if you want to Bazanga. copy it, you can you know right click it and save it to your thing. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard to go from um, image to image. You don't even need to click the image, the little light, um, arrow icons. And you can also use it to set it as your icon That's profile right. image. You are now setting my icon background. and my uh, profile. I'm, I'm not going to do all that, but I'll do the background image. You set my then. background image to her. Sure, I, I like as well. I like Emma quite a bit. It defaults to tiled, I think, it, so it might look a little wanky. That's fine. Wanky, so it's not, you're not getting much. But there she is. Wow, nice. she's... You scroll down, a little Emma Stone action for, for you at the bottom. I like her. I like her too. Uh, she anyways, seems nice. She seems nice. She's a nice lady. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh, so this has all kinds of... If you want to send the URL to somebody... Mm -hmm. and a, and a to the thing. page, yep. If you want to, hey, HTML, this is where I found this image. You can embed it in if you have a blog or something like that. That's straight up. That will actually, that's actually the image SRC and the AHREF. So it'll show up as the image with a link back to this page. So that's right. pretty cool. BB code for those crazy messenger boards that you guys are sometimes Does on. anyone even use those anymore? BB code is, is yeah, they, they, a lot of message boards are based on that. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, and um, you can see who added the image right there, Viper Pilot. Hey, Viper Pilot. And uh, the date it. added and um, the galleries it's the in. The galleries it's in. Comments. Let me make a comment. Make a comment. So if you ever, if you, we can comment on everything here, so I, I can't use. Emma, words. yeah. Emma Stone is cute. That's the that's the extent of my of my wit today. <clears> but, uh, that's all you need to know. Uh, yeah, leather, good lord. That's a cool, cool pleather jacket. I like how thick it is in Look the shoulders, thing, man. too. That's like, a, that's like body armor. If you drop down to the larger image, we can actually zoom in on that little corner. Just to, that's why, bam! That's bam. why you have the big image there, so you can really see the details of the photo. She's been shopping with <clears throat> Katy Perry's uh, fashion house. Oh, look at that cute girl. Oh my God. Which which movie was this from? That's super bad. Okay. That's, she's not super bad, but she's super cute. Um, uh, other stuff you can do with images, you can add them to galleries. You want to show maybe a little bit gallery stuff? Yeah, let's do that. So we have there, when you upload an image, by default, it goes to the all images category. Let me go back to Emma Stone real quick. And, um, images. So by default, it goes to this big... Uh, sort of like a dumping ground, wow, a holding ground. Oh my god. Shampoo I to, horn. I have to stop stop clicking on these images. Anyways. She did uh, a bathtub. So anyways, uh, by default you get the the all images. Uh, everything that like, gets gets uploaded will go to the, the main gallery, but there are also other galleries as well. Like right there uh, in the right corner there. Yeah. Go. We got movies. <clears throat> so this is just for movie shots, I guess. Oh, she was really good in Paper Man too. That wasn't a very good movie, but she was good in it. So what you're saying is that we actually um, we have an all images gallery where all mm -hmm. the images go, but then we also want people to sort the images into the proper galleries sure. so that we can you know filter them out. Um, public appearances. And an image can actually go into more than one gallery. Yeah, by uh, by default, it's in at least the all images one. Uh, why don't we add an image? How do we do that? What if I have a cute image of Emma Stone and I want to add it to a uh, you? Thing? You click the add do image I click button. This image here. Okay. That? Uh, I you can look at Flickr images if you want to. They don't do that. My images. Don't do that. Site. You got my desktop. That. Let's do that. It's almost like we have some. Uh, wow, you crazy. Okay, there we go. Oh, you Emma. have images called Emma Stone. There we go. Wow, look at that. Go figure. Uh, so we have two pictures of Emma Stone sporting the blonde look. You can from, select uh, them both and upload them at the same select time. Both. Open them up. That's fancy, fancy pants stuff. There you go. Um, so these are pictures of Emma Stone that just came out the other day. And then they are uh, highlight highlighted in green. Highlighted in green. But did uh, you want to add a caption? Sure. I'm going to do that. How about that? Please why, add a caption. Why should we add a caption? Because I'm going to describe this picture for a bit. Emma Stone is... Adorable. No, I'm joking. Uh, Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy in Spider Man. Yeah, very good descriptive. Uh, is this Spider Dash Man or just Spider Man? 
I'm going to call it Spider Dash Man. Okay. So there we go. That's all you need to do. You okay. can uh, just click anywhere else for, for to, to make the caption. And, and now that it has a caption, if you were to embed this into your blog or a news post later on, it would carry the the caption along with it. Exactly. So what I want to do now is <clears throat> put this up in the movies. These aren't official movie shots. These are kind of like I somebody was at the... Right, they're, they're behind it. the scenes, uh, but they are from a movie, so uh, it's her, her as a character. So I'm gonna go. I, all I did is drag those up to movie. Yeah, and you can see that it changed the number of uh, mo images in the uh, the gallery now. You can't re-add it once it's already. So it's already. Added. It's what a smart thing to do. <clears throat> yeah, that's really smart. So all you gotta do is drag it. You can drag it to multiple places if you want to. It's not a public appearance, so it doesn't belong here. It's not really a Photoshop, so it doesn't belong here. But yeah. sometimes it'll it'll work in multiple galleries. Uh, so. Right. Like, uh, if there was a gallery said said Emma Stone is adorable. Now, don't forget to save, though, because we don't auto-save, so... You, you gotta need, save. You would need to save, yeah. So I'm gonna go and save those changes, and those have gone Sweet. live. So we stuck them in movies, so if you refresh and filter by movies gallery now, it should sure. be in there. And keep in mind, uh, these stuff won't always happen as quickly as this for everybody, because uh, he's it'll, a staff. It'll, it'll happen quicker. Uh, but when you have enough wiki points, these things will go live automatically. Uh, if you're just starting out, you will have to go to the queue to make sure you're not a porn a bot Right, unless you're doing this just from your own profile gallery. Yeah. Because so, our profile gallery tools are identical. It's almost it's almost identical, so you can upload images to your own profile. Look at this angry lady in the background, like, peeking out through the umbrellas. <laughs> I'm angry. Creepy looking. She's creepy looking. Uh, that's, that's mean. Kind of hurt her feelings. Um, so this, that's shouldn't be creepy. Basics of uh, that's not a good picture. Is that her? That's from which movie is that? I don't know that, that one. That, that's why it needs a caption. Hmm. Uh, Very true. Um, but yeah, we got we got all kinds of crazy stuff you can do with images. Did and, you want to uh, go back and show how to create a gallery? Sure, why not? Because there's a lot of galleries that aren't made. Um, you just got to go all the way back to where we were before. You can hit the back button if you want. Let's go to back to clip. I just like I'm driving up. Traffic for Emma Stone. There we go. Uh, so what we're going to do here is let's go back to images and go ahead and add images and go ahead. Oh, you can, can close do that. that. You could have clicked that. edit images and you wouldn't have got that oh, pop up, so that's fine. Enough. Anyways, we're going to add a new gallery. So we're going to say Emma Stone. Uh, umbrella pictures. Oh, why don't we say Emma Stone is Gwen Stacy? That's that perfect. That, that actually makes sense. That way more Let's do what makes sense. Them. All right. Okay. That's Gwen Stacy. So that is and that. Just save that. Oh, you could have drugged those images in there. Whoopsie daisy. I am I'm obsessed with uh, uh, saving as often as possible. Okay. So I do. So anyways, now that we have this one here, we're yeah. gonna go say Emma Stone, because these are these. Uh, hey, it works in both categories. They're from a movie, and it, this and is a more specific. Kind right. Of thing. So it's done. Save, and there's a new gallery. Cool. So another thing that uh, we want to try out is embedding galleries into blog posts, right? Right. And we got. Well, let me show embedding images and embedding galleries. How about that? That's a great idea. All right, cool. Uh, let me find. Let me go to screen.com real quick and actually get some uh, some text to copy so we have something to wrap around. How about that? Okay. Do that real quick. Control C that. We're gonna go back to your blog and make. I'm gonna make you a new blog post. How about that? Sounds good to me. And now that you have Emma Stone as your background, she's really in your background. Oh, first you wanna. Do you wanna first add the add some images of Emma Stone into my image profile oh, so we can make a gallery. Yeah. Let's go and do that. Uh, so the images on the site are a little bit different than the images that are in your own image gallery. Everybody has a personal image gallery, right? You yeah. can add anything to. Um, so I'm going to go and make one of those for Emma Stone. with that? You only need those two because we already have the other two in my... those two, The two that we uploaded uh, earlier are already in my gallery because we uploaded them. But they're not a separate gallery, are they? Or are you... No, so when you upload an image on screen, you, the image goes to the the actor the or the movie that you're adding sure. it to. But then it also goes into your profile's images, so you have a, a collection of all the images you've ever uploaded, mm -hmm. regardless of where you put them. So make a new gallery here. This yeah. is on your personal personal profile, so yep. Emma Stone. We're no longer on check, Emma Stone's check, page. Check, We're on check. my personal profile. So you can just drag these four images right up in there. Beep, bop, Boop. aloo. Bop. All right, cool. And hit save. Hit save. So you now have an Emma Stone gallery on right. your personal profile. Right. And the cool thing that this allows you to do is if you go to make a, uh, a comment or a blog post or anything like that, uh, you can actually embed these galleries or images first off. Let me go ahead and control all this text in here first. Okay. So, look, so now you... Now it looks like a real blog post, something yeah. pretty. You really do need to have text to work with your images. So uh, first off, if you ever if you've never done this before, let's show you how to embed an image real quick. Okay. Uh, my my images. images. Go and do that. So hey, here's Emma Stone. She is cute. I like her. I'm gonna make an image here. I'm gonna wrap my text around it. Uh, text wrapping works best for medium or small size images. I think it's small, right? There we go. Yeah, there we go. She's, you can add a caption. Add a caption if you want to. Sure. Uh, Emma Stone. All in 
Ooh, caps. I like it. Uh, it's, it's the internet, man. Uh, okay. Can't go from there, so I'm going to go and click off that. And that is one way to embed an image if you want to. Uh, See, it already makes me want to read read that blog post. Yeah, because it looks pretty. Like, now I don't want to read the blog now, post. Now, screw it. God, it's, it's, I can't even record this anymore. Um, image. If you actually want to add all of those images, though, you can do Emma Stone. Because we made a gallery just a couple steps back. Sure. This is the gallery that you made. And then when you... Uh, you know what and, happens? And look, it has the, the name of the gallery above it. And Very you know. cute. You can actually edit the title. Mm -hmm. uh, you can edit it. You can uh, remove the thing if you want to. But right. the cool thing is, when you actually post this, these are cute Ooh. little... Refresh the page. Oh, I got to refresh the page. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, give it a title. Sorry. You Oops. didn't give it a title. Didn't give it a title. That's why. Emma Stone! You are bold. That's all I can think about most days. It's a um, stone. So here we go. I'm not going to attach it. So I yeah. guess you're probably going to delete it. But hey. Go back and refresh the page. Yeah. And then we'll be good. Let me go ahead and just, just refresh give, page. Give okay. it a refresh area. There, there we go. There it is. And if you... Bing a bing, bingle bangle bongo. It's a nice that. way to, to include a lot of images. And I mean, my gallery only had four images, but that could have 20 or 30 wow, images. Oh, my goodness. So it's a nice way to, and you know what's another nice thing to do too is if you had a ton of images like this, you can also actually put a ton of images in a gallery like that, and then right above it, put one large image, kind of sure to show people, like hey, uh, if, especially if you have a wide image, wide images work really well. Yeah, uh, throw like a big image in there. Sure, let me edit this real quick. Then. How about that? How about that? So if you have like a million images that you want to show off, um, you can always insert a big one at the top is what I kind of like to do. This is what we do for our news stories. Mm -hmm. uh, like I think there were some really cool images from that new Predators movie you can add. It's not about – Emma Stone's not actually a Predator. I don't we think. crop the images for the news stories. We do. We go know, 600 just, by 300 for right. news stories images. But, uh, but if the images that you're searching for right now on screen, they may not be cropped. They may just be really large. The larger ones can only go in the center. You can't wrap anything around these, but it's a good kind of eye-catchy yeah. way to start off your blog post. Uh, this is not a great image. Uh, wide images are usually better for... Mm -hmm. the, the problem with tall images makes is that scroll. they make you scroll down. Right. So you got to... It's imagine. not as compelling. It's not as compelling. So what, what do you think would be a good wide image? Almost all movie screenshots are uh, wide images. So I'm going to go to Superbad and see if there's any widescreen... Uh, yeah, but you know what? You can, you could, if you want to really jazz up your your work. Those are probably all. These are mostly are, kind of widescreen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add yeah. little. Images you could use a, a free soft, uh, free website like Picnic to Picnic's crop really good. images. Picnic with a K. To what was it? Five seventy by three hundred. We do six hundred by three hundred. Six hundred by three hundred is a good size. Yeah, so work it. Scroll. Work it. Uh, what's your name? What's his name? What that it, that's um. Uh, McLovin. Yeah, McLovin. I don't know who this is, but she's cute. Or Red, what's his name from Super Bad, from um, Kick Ass. Oh yeah, Red Mist. Red That's Mist. That's where you get your your name from. Right? No, no, no. He got it from me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so that's a, your big image up there, and you have uh, Emma Stone down here, and uh, you know what? I think we've really this blog is compelling we've made content. A beautiful blog here. This is uh, and the that. background image was great. It's great. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Really good. It, yeah, it, the images work better if it's a little bit more wider. We should really give him a caption though. Yeah, we should have. Let's do this. Still do that? Yeah, sure. We'll let it. Yeah. We'll add a caption. Oops, got our mouse over there. Woo! Because that's what Just I imagine him saying. Nothing but bold. That's what I imagine the character is saying right there. Right. Woo! Okay. So, so now we've shown you how to um, create your we've own. We've done a lot of stuff today. We've done quite a bit. We've shown how to create a, your own gallery in your profile and then be able to dump those gallery images into your own blog post. Um. Which will make, if, if you're just doing a forum post, why not spend a little extra time, go to your blog. Take two seconds. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe like five minutes. If you're going to make a forum post about why Emma Stone is the cutest actress in the world, you should definitely take a little images. time to make a gallery. You could just search for her. Yeah. And then select images too. So if you, if you didn't want to, you could just search the site right here. I think that's what we did, didn't we? Well, see, this will give you all the galleries, right? Look how many cute Emmas there are. So this is another way to, to get galleries as well. Oh, it's, you can actually, oh, neat. Yeah. I didn't know that. So actually, we have how many galleries? How many, we have two images in this, in this Emma Stone yes. as Gwen Stacy one, so you can do it this way as well. Oh, weird. Huh. And they'll, that'll show up as a gallery? Yeah. I did not know that. But if you wanted your personal gallery, that's what we showed earlier. Oh, and you have actually format. That's either, pretty neat. You can either go side by side or one on top of the other. Th that'll give really big images right there. The stack one? Yeah. 
you know what? I'm learning something new every day. I'm going to try this again with uh, this, the other thing. How do I? So I go to image, mm -hmm. search the site yep. for Emma Stone. I almost broke the mic. Uh, I'm going to go all images, and I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. You can actually paginate and grab more, too. So you can click the pagination buttons, and it'll save what you clicked the first time. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. This is amazing. I learned something new every day. I'm going to add all these. Uh, I'm going to do side by side. See what happens. Now, I don't know where your cursor was when you opened this, so I don't know where it's going to inject it. I just went right below the other images. It's okay. going to take a little bit. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's super cute. And you know what we, else we can show? Well, I can show you what happens when you embed uh, the image that we captioned. I'm going to prove to you that the captions actually show up. Say it's large. See? There it is. The caption automatically showed up as the caption. It's amazing how a caption is actually a caption. Right. But, of course, if you don't like the caption that somebody else put, you just go ahead and add a caption. A lot of people don't know to add captions when they're adding images to galleries. I think because they don't realize the value of it. That when other people use that image to inject into their um, to their wiki or to their... Um, Definitely the wiki stuff is really... Uh, blog post. It's really handy to have captions for... Yeah, you can always for, change it. Uh, yeah. That is... This is a... We have a plethora. A I think we should remove. Um, go. I think we should remove these two right here, since you and just. They're dumb. Yeah, these clean it up a little bit since we didn't really need those. Um, let's go and take that out. I'm All gonna right. go ahead and hit. Uh, probably could use a little more cleaning up for this, but whatever. Yeah. Let's, uh, go and publish. Refresh. You need to refresh it in order to uh, have the pop-up images uh, work correctly. Yeah. I think, which is fine. Woo! Woo! And now we got all these other things in here too. Look at that. Look at that cute, cute little girl. Oh. oh. Oh my goodness! You're not wearing any clothes at all. Nah, he needs a shirt. Either of you. I, he he just needs not to be there. You need to. I don't somebody, need. Why is he in there? Somebody Photoshop me onto this guy, and I will love you forever. Just the, the head. No. The, yeah. You just want your head on his nipples. Well, I, my body's a little better than this guy, so Imagine maybe if, his, if anybody had a shirtless photo of me, you could just crop me in there, and that'd be fine. Close that out. Um, I oh, just like the dog. You know what? I'm just gonna look at Emma Stone for a while. Look at that! Look at that adorable. Let's go out of this tutorial just looking at Emma Stone. This is kind of creepy. I think if Emma Stone ever saw this, <laughs> like if she found it on the internet, it'd be a little bit creepy. I think. I think we just like her. That is. I, that could be really mean. <laughs> I didn't actually see that movie. Oh, uh, Easy A is great. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't mind her. You know, working here at Whiskey Media. It'd be fun. Yeah, I think she'd be fun. You're you're fun. I try. You're fun. Fun to, fun to be around. Everyone here says they like you. I believe it.